what happens when the IO guards meet the Mandalorian, that is what we're looking at into today's video. A lot of people are asking questions, are the IO guards too overpowered? With 300 plus HP, as well as three of them which spawn together, it's pretty overpowered to have that being fired down on you. But can the Mandalorian deal with it? In today's video, that's what we're looking into. If you guys are new around here, roughly 98% of you guys watching this video right now aren't subscribed, so tap that subscribe button. It'd mean the absolute world to me if we could get to 250,000 subscribers. And tap a like. Let's aim for 10,000 plus likes in today's video. It's a huge goal, but if everyone does it, we will make it. Anyway, let's jump into this and find out what happens when the IO guards meet the Mandalorian. Okay, so the first task was to take the battle bus into the map and obviously locate the Mandalorian and the IO guards. Now, luckily enough, the IOs always spawn inside of Risky and the Mandalorian now has an extended path where he rotates all the way from his ship all the way to Pleasant. So this means if we could get the Mandalorian in the perfect position, he would actually get in combat possibly with the IO guards over at the Risky area. So that's where we're gonna head into. We're gonna land in, search for the Mandalorian, grab a car, find him and see if we can get him in the action with the IO bots themselves. Now, the IO guards are pretty overpowered. In my opinion, they're probably one of the most overpowered ones we've had. I don't like coming against them personally on my own. If I'm with a squad, it's a little bit different and they don't drop the best loot. So is it really worth going for these? It's debatable, but you can see right here, I'm landing in, I'm gonna grab this car, I'm gonna take it over to Risky and find these geezers. They usually spawn straight in. Let's grab these shields as well, just so I can use them, just in case the IO guards manage to hit me. Let's head on over to Risky in Mama Beale and see what we find. Okay, so we've arrived in Risky and it looks like the Mandalorian might just be, there he is, he's on my right. You can see the Mandalorian's there. We've got the IO bots here as well. We are set ready for the action right now. All we need to do is make it so the Mandalorian actually aims at the IO bots. And it looks like, actually, have the IOs hit Mando? I think they have. All right, let's switch straight over to the replay and check this one out. So here we are. Here we have the Mando himself ready to go into the action. We can see the IO bots over there. The shot does come in from the IOs and it looks like it accidentally hits the Mando, which completely triggers him onto the IOs. I've actually never seen this happen in game. It looks like it worked out really well for us right here. So the Mando is now going to start sniping in on these, giving him the advantage at range right here. And it looks like we've accidentally hit the IO guards once as well. So that also damages them, giving Mando the advantage. You can see he's taking a little bit of damage that I've turned on the damage stats you can see lovely 110 shot there from Mando he's taking some more damage coming in with the 19s another 110 there straight on the IO guards it looks like two of the IO guards are attacking Mando right now when the third one's not here this one looks like Mando has this in the bag what we're gonna have to do is test this again with all three just to see what's gonna happen but you can see Mando is absolutely wrecking these right now maybe he's gonna take the W maybe he's not I can't 100% guarantee these IO guards haven't actually been hitting a while he's missing his shots this is not good for Mando these IOs are getting some decent damage off now coming in with the 22 stat this is really good I was again missing Mando right there Mando aiming in for the shot again missing another sniper shot there on the right side unexpected there from the Mandalorian coming in again with the Mandalorian missing another shot these two IO guards are absolutely suppressing down on the Mandalorian right now giving them the advantage here with the hill and the movement even Mandalorian's movement is not dodging enough shots to get him the W right here it looks like he's trying his best again with the sniper using his jetpack a little bit there he gets a lovely shot off there with his sniper rifle why isn't he switching to his E11 I'm not too sure but he continues to use the sniper and gets another shot off and actually downs one of the IO guards right there which is really nice and takes on the elimination we've got one IO guard left standing right here with the Mandalorian trying his best in this situation he misses that snipe right there trying his best to get a few hits up here he's still got shield left over these another snipe miss there from the Mandalorian is this guy gonna get a few shots off it looks like the IO bot has missed a few shots oh he hits a few shots on him there Mandalorian again trying his best with the sniper right here switching angles you can see the Mandalorian again missing another sniper shot very unexpected using the jetpack there to his advantage takes another shot still got shield left the IO bot though this isn't looking good for the Mandalorian he's taking another 22 right there another two ooh, another 44 right there he's trying his best again with the jetpack and gets to snipe on the io bot so it looks like mandalorian took out two of them pretty smoothly but where is that third one where is that third IO bot? That is what we need to get. So let's grab that third IO bot who is just around the corner on his back side over here. What I'll do is I'll grab him, bring him over, so then we can check out exactly what's gonna happen if he's gonna defeat this one. Now this one hasn't taken any damage at all. So it was on full HP this one right now. And you can see it's actually already ready to go. So Mando's just over the hill just there to our left. You can see this IO bot says so we've got to get this IO bot to Mando, which is quite hard to do, but I'm trying my best to make him come over. And it looks like they are finally in the action together. As you can see the Mandalorian is aiming at me right now with his E11, but it looks like He's now going to turn around and start aiming for the IO bot once he gets 
shot by his DI bot hits him for a 40 bomb. It looks like his shield is broken. Mano really needs to hit a snipe here to get the W. This IO bot could take the W right now, Mandalorian. Another 22 right there. He hasn't got much HP left. Two shots left. Lovely snipe coming in front of Mandalorian. Needs a headshot for the W right here. Is the IO bot going to get the other? Oh, he looks really close. He gets another hit on the Mandalorian. He's got to be on one hit, the Mandalorian. This is not good. And boom, the IO bot takes the W. Wow, I was not expecting that from the IO bots, but it's not over yet. Let's jump straight in for another round of this and see if the Mandalorian can get the W if he pulls out his E11 in a closer combat situation. Congrats to the IO bots on the first round. Let's jump in to round two. So round two, and we are off, guys. This is it. The Mandalorian is heading straight for the action with the Iobots on the other side of Risky. You can see that he's heading towards them right now. What he's going to have to do is break down the structure, get through, and actually take on the fight against these. You can see he's heading in. It was very hard to get him to trigger against these, but we managed to do it. So he breaks through that, and he's ready to go. Looks like he's starting off with a ranged approach, aiming for the head. He does miss and gets a 110 damage, though. A decent amount there coming in for the Mandalorian with the 110 ranged approach, which is really nice. A few shots coming down. He takes 219, 319, 4, 519 damage on the Mandalorian there. Not too much. He's actually upping the damage now to 21. He takes two hits right there, which isn't good for the Mandalorian. Taking a little bit of damage, missing a few sniper shots as well, but he's dodging quite a few bullets. He's actually doing much better than he did previously. Again, taking two more 21 hits right there. Can the Mandalorian sustain and actually take the W right here? If he switches to his E11, I personally do think he will beat these in close combat. Another two 22s coming in there and another one there, but look at the amount of bullets he is dodging right now. This is insane for the Mandalorian. He is taking a lovely snipe there on the left. Took a little bit of damage though. Not too much though. Another two 22s coming in there. Is he going to take the this guy he does he switches to his e11 what a switch that was for the mandalorian and then takes him out with the 11 we've got to check that out again so let's check it out from the io side how he took out that first one you can see the mandalorian's up there ahead we've got three io bugs absolutely suppressing him the amount of bullets the mandalorian dodges right here is just incredible i did not expect him to dodge this many i have no idea how he's done that but it's a really good clutch from the mandalorian you can see a lovely snipe on the right which takes down the shield for him basically allowing him to finish off that one with his e11 if he decides to switch to it and you can see he does he actually switches to his e11 right now and that actually gets the elimination on that guy right there and he's just got absolute insane aim with that e11 he just lasers him on the ground takes him out he gets finished off and then now are two io guards remaining this one here on the right is just taking it to the head another bunch of shots coming in with that e11 these io guards cannot handle the firepower coming in from that e11 with 30 damage it's insane amounts and also hitting them obviously we don't get the e11 in game and i wish we did but it's so overpowered you can even see the mando using it right here and it's just incredible to see him absolutely spraying down these guards with the e11 another one goes down it's a 1v1 situation now against the mandalorian can the final io guard stand in beat the mandalorian in this 1v1 i think he might be able to but let's just see if he can he's missing a few shots gets a 22 he has already taken some damage do consider that guys mandalorian is currently going for the downed io guard he eliminates him you can now see it's mando and boom it just takes him straight out to the head and mandalorian takes the W guys that is an incredible outcome and a great conclusion to make you can see that when taking on the Mandalorian you have more of an advantage at range whereas in close combat he is gonna absolutely laser you down with that E11 if you found this video enjoyable do consider entering in code postbox part into your Fortnite item shop or your epic game store it only takes less than five seconds to enter in so much love and respect to anyone doing that it really does help and support this channel further also don't forget to leave a like comment your suggestions for future videos and don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here. Hope to see you guys in future content and this is by post signing out.